As we move on to Leviticus, we see that there were some laws God gave Israel to keep them separate from the nations, like the dietary laws. And then there were other laws God gave that applied to all people, like do not murder. As for homosexual practice in Leviticus, God calls it detestable, and it doesn't get any less detestable if you do it over and over with the same person. First off, comparing homosexuality to murder is obviously ridiculous. However, even from a biblical perspective, it is a terribly nonsensical one, given obviously no Christian would argue that the prohibitions against murder is irrelevant, not because of its appearance in Leviticus, but because it's one of the Ten Commandments. And that Leviticus was originally a contemporary book of laws regarding how the Israelis were meant to govern themselves. Hence why, for example, many of the dietary restrictions present in Leviticus are primarily based around what would have been sanitary to people in that time period. As such, many Christians and even many Jews simply ignore a lot of Leviticus because it is viewed as more of a historical document than one that is to be taken seriously today. Even you ignore it to some extent when you say this. There in Genesis 1 we learn that God creates the human race in his image, male and female, and blesses us with the ability to procreate. In other words, he designed us for heterosexuality. When Leviticus actually takes a very negative view of the birthing process, writing that a woman must engage in sacrifice after giving birth to cleanse herself, and that she is not allowed to enter a temple for a specific period of time, depending on the biological sex of the baby she gave birth to. I end this interjection with this clip from Hannah and Jake's old, but hilarious and amazingly sarcastic atheist Bible study series regarding a very similar verse, also in Leviticus, and also about homosexuality. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. If they are to be put to death, their blood will be on their own heads. Yeah, so why is that a problem? Well, you can't fuck another man as you do a woman. You can't be sticking your dick in dudes' vaginas. That doesn't... What? You can't just be like, hey, bro, stick it in your vagina, and then they fuck or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, they don't... Dude, guys don't have vaginas. That's not... Are you sure? Is that what this was written for? I thought you were against gays. Oh, no! Tim Gunn. Good guy. Love that guy. Snappy dresser. He is, but so... So what does this mean? This means that you don't want dudes to fuck each other in the vagina. Correct. Like as they do with a woman. Yeah. Dude on dude vagina penis sex. Not okay. Dude on dude butt sex. Whatever. I don't care. What about mouth? Yeah, dude. Hands. Whatever. It's their mouth. Hand. Whatever. Elbows. Man teats. Whatever you gotta do. Are you sure guys don't have vaginas? I'm pretty damn positive. I'm like 95% sure they have vaginas. I was at the board meeting... You were watching music videos on MTV, but it was the old MTV before they didn't have music videos anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. Video killed the radio star. The Buggles. 1986. That can't be accurate. 